Okay, let's go. Morian assault on our relays was devastating, but he failed to break us. Now we take the fight back to him. Now we exact justice. Okay, looks like we're all inside. Flint, how do you have uh, 300 HP? Do you still have the, do you have the, the bleeding key on you? Alright, we'll re-invite you. Ridiculous, bad. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of I'm kind of uh, lagging a bit too. I've got I've got some stutter. I mean, I guess I'm I'm the one hosting, so that's kind of the thing. Um, maybe we should try having someone else host as well. Might might you know just restart it in general. Arch, do you have do you tend to have a good connection? Do you tend to have a good enough connection for hosting? I wouldn't trust my connection. Okay, then let's. Like, we'll just we'll just do we'll just do as is. I mean, it it seems playable to me. My connection likes to give out at random times. Okay, yeah, we don't we don't want that. I killed some things, so it's for me at least it's doing a lot better. Are we gonna have uh, Saren carry or? Yeah, that looks m much better, Flint. <laughs> yeah, much better. Thirty. <laughs> yeah, I get it. What do you guys think of the, um... Creel, pick it up. Thanks. What do you guys think of the, uh, the change to make it so the uh, everyone's, uh, frame shows up as their icon? I think the idea is cool, but most of the time I don't have time to check. I just think the icons just get really big. So for me, it's just like, um, you know, it just doesn't quite make sense. Stuff long fragment. Yeah, that's true. You know, it just takes up so much space on the mini map that it's just kind of a little ick. I forgot how to mark. <laughs> uh, you said there's a cephalon fragment, though. Thanks. Thank you, Bill. All right, let's hack this open again.
There are four pictures on your ship. And they give oh. like small little more entries every time you unlock all of them. So when... so your gallery is limited in terms of what you can put in it, right? It... there's a wide selection of what you can put in it, like such as fan art and stuff like that, but then other types of art that DE has put out for lore entries go strictly pretty much the Cephalon stuff. Okay. Because, like, I thought, you know, there were some people that were, um, that were basically, they were talking about, like, oh, I'll put, you know, this, that, and the other lewd thing up on, up in the gallery, and I was like, wait, can you, like, get pictures from anywhere on the internet? That seems like there would be, you know, untoward legal issues, and, you know, not just, so I, I don't know. Uh, the Honestly, the uh, the Cephalons are very easy to get. There's almost always one in every map. Each planet has two to three pictures and lore entries. Okay. Earth takes three scans to unlock each one, or unlock one, and every other planet I've noticed takes five. I haven't done Venus yet, so that might also be three. Okay. Yeah, I've yet to do the Earth Junction. You know, I think I, I said earlier to a bunch of people that uh, I'm going to drop soon, by the way. Someone could help. Thank you. Yeah, my one my one issue with, uh, with uh, the Void Terrors is it's, it kind of feels like we're doing Vault Runs all over again. But... Having four different choices of loot, I think, in my opinion, has been a good thing. At least for like the second run I did, I got an axe stiletto barrel, which is you know something that I needed or whatever. So, I mean, I definitely do like that you get to choose what thing you're you're looking for. But in terms of the the gameplay, it definitely still feels like a um, what's it called? Vault run. You're yeah, pretty much just doing like a little mini excav within a mission. Yeah, it's. I, I will say it's also nice that you get to choose the mission type. But the unfortunate thing that I've found is that, you know, I've done things like captures or rescues, but you still have to find the fissure. Meowing at cat. Does it want attention or is it hungry? It's just pawing the air. <laughs> is that the the in-game cavat? Yes, the the, the stupid cavat. <laughs> oh, could you could you mark yours? I totally forgot to scan yours for this mission. Oh. Ignore the decoy one. <laughs> okay, so when it's when it's camouflaged, I can't scan it. Make sure you guys scan uh, the Kavat. Because you actually do get uh, DNA fragments from other people's Kavats. I think there's two. Yeah, there's two of them in here. Someone else has a Kavat? Yeah, they're running around with the fairy while mine's a wizard. <laughs> um, who else has one? That's Mewtwo, that's it. Because I figure we should be able to scan it once every every uh, phase, basically. Live like insects. Die like insects. <laughs> Destroy the bomb. Oh, Flint, did you get the um, did you get the the cool Nova skin? Destroy all the 
toxin injectors, then what will destroy them? Waypoint six looks like a rare crate. Ah, the booster fell down. No booster for us. You know what's funny though? 75 HP is the starter health for a uh, regular mag. So in a way, we're basically, it's basically like we're doing, uh, we're, we're, we're using the health of starter, of level, of, of rank zero frames. Discounting our massive shields. Yeah, I think I'm actually the only one with the massive shields. I probably should have not done that. You probably should have done no redirection. I probably should have, but I mean, at this point, I feel like we're far enough along. Oh, yeah, no, we're not, uh, not restarting. Someone get it, get it, get it, get it. Get it. <laughs> someone grab it. Oh, redo. Sorry, I was in my own world there. No worries, it's mostly been me and, and Creel, but I, I keep on forgetting that I'm Mag, who has like no, uh, no pool. How do you know that you got a DNA imprint from the, um, what's it called, from the cat? Does it does it show like you looted it or something? It, I think it shows it at the end of the game screen. The only way I know positively is uh, when you actually go to make the damn thing. Hmm. How much are the uh, the imprints in the market? Five P for how many? One. And how many do you need to to hatch? Oh, you need ten. two, right? Wait, you need ten to to. Uh, yeah. So you need fifty P. That's way more expensive than a Kubro. Well, look at it this way. There's people that have scanned like 200 Kavats and only have like 13 imprints. That sounds kind of mind-numbing. So I think uh, bringing Oberon and having a a good blessing definitely helped us over that part. We'll see if we do just as well uh, in the next round. Hello. So tend to build the segment tend to make a, a single Kavat. So that's like what? A thousand scans before you're gonna have both Kavats? You guys finished the raid or something? We're, we just started the second part. Okay. Had to get um, 
One more person, I guess. But yeah, we've been talking a lot about um, a lot of the new stuff. Oh, right, napalms. This will be terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we're pretty vulnerable. Yeah, I think the Oberon is definitely carrying this raid. But I've always thought, since they nerfed the range on Trinity, that Oberon has actually been a really good addition to the raid, simply because he can heal from any range. It takes time, but he can do it. Which is why I've, I've pretty much thought that, like, the best combo now uh, is, you know, some form of Trinity and an Oberon. For what? Alright, someone took it, good. Unexpected server delay. I've never seen a pop-up like that before. Yeah, that's new to the update. What... what server? Like, if I'm hosting this, does that make me the, the server with the unexpected delay? No, it should probably be the Warframe server, because you have to connect to them still. Yeah, that's true. Like, frozen in place. What the hell? Is anyone else frozen? Okay, there we go. They've really added a lot. Have you guys uh, played around much with the um, the linking items in chat? No worries. Because I've, I've no. yet to see what kind of puns you can do with, with uh, the item linking. That would be what you would be thinking about. Yeah, we gotta... <laughs> we, gotta we gotta optimize here. All right, I think that's second from the back right. No, it's second from the front right. Did someone get blown away?
People are finally starting to stop skipping around for me. What's that? And my connection's finally like not just having people skip around for me now. I'm actually seeing That's people so running. That's so weird. I don't understand it. That one's front right. Did I guys? Did I tell you guys about how I did a? Uh, I've never played The Witcher 2 before, but I decided to start the game on the hardest difficulty and have my only melee weapon be a uh, ladle. It's still kind of easy. I watched some of your videos. I've actually been recording the whole thing as I've been going, but I've been hesitant to, you know, just do a, a full release of it because there's times when I'm literally just like taking a bathroom break and standing there or whatever. But it's it's pretty much like a like literally a live stream of, of me playing playing through it and there isn't always talking but uh, so I think it might be more appropriate to maybe go for the highlights especially in concerning the difficulty going for the um, the combat highlights but I don't know I don't know I don't know what what people are interested in or interested in or whatever. Probably highlights would be good. Yeah, because it, it can be a long game. And I'm, I'm sure there's a lot of people out there that can that can probably see other videos for the plot. So it might, it might make sense to either do... Well, I mean, I could do plot highlights, but I, sh I could also... I, I don't know. I guess I should probably just do entertaining highlights. I think that that's probably the key there. Can someone get Flint up? He's on a button. Thank you. Stay vigilant, guys. We're almost done here. Very nice. So I got, um, I think I got Flint, Cat, now I need to get uh, your Cat Arch. What frame are you playing? Uh, I'm a Mizza. Okay. Whoa, I've never seen a rare there. I think that's a reinforced or something. It's a 30 minute affinity booster. Oh, did you guys already see the new primes coming up? Uh, I saw an image of Tigris Prime. I'm hoping it'll be a crit weapon. 
Tigris, Galat Galatine, and Necros. Which is, I I hope I hope for D's for D it's going to be a good a big seller. And they all look really sexy to be honest. Nice. I've only seen like a what is it? Um, like a big panorama of Necros. I haven't seen like a solid shot of him. And I think I've seen like uh, the Galatine, but it doesn't really look much different. There's just like gold, gold highlights and whatnot. You guys know if the sorties are still bugged, or I mean if they are bugged, because I still haven't tried. What bug has been going with them? Um, you can't see the reward, at least right now, but I don't know if that huh. means you don't get anything or whatnot. Well, I mean, have they even updated the season? Alright, we're at the next room. Could we get pads and phoenix? Okay, good. Pads. Thank you. Yeah, I think with this one, it's definitely seeming like there's a... Well, I mean, I guess we'll see what happens on Heck. You have reached the midpoint. Disposing of these I can't see the core anymore. <laughs> I guess it's a good thing I'm driving. The door didn't even That's... open for me. Oh, no. Okay. Pushing it. So I brought his creations to extract them. You know what I think would be crazy is if they added um what's it called? What's the uh Tonkor Prime? There, D three is dead. Thank you. All right, we need next next pads. Man, so any, do any of you guys like the uh, the derp head Kavat? Have you guys have you guys seen images of it? The 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 Kavat that doesn't have like the sleek face that has like the squished face. You mean the luxury expensive cat? I don't know. Um, does, does, did anyone see caches? Okay, no worries. We had one earlier, so that's fine. Let's push it. Greatly in defending against future Fomorian attacks, but we must return to our purpose. Heck has retreated. Ah, someone uh, won in void form or whatever at the right time. That's so that's so weird that that shows up on my screen, but the normal warframes don't. Hey guys. Hey Ender. By the way, Mega, we just got done with um what's it called? The Formorian phase. Tenno, I've detected a strange atmospheric anomaly. It's of Grenier origin and may confer resistances on them. Proceed with caution. It's a 30 minute credit booster. Tenno, I have bad news. There are reports of a Baylor from 
That's a good point. Um, because there are some that are definitely showing up in new places. Looks clear to me. Let's um let's take a picture of some sort. It looks like we got everybody ready. Okay. Looks good. So I'm going to pick it up. A tenno has fallen. Revive them. A fallen tenno needs your help. Good stuff. needs to be revived. Okay, looks like we have one more left. And don't forget to scan uh, scan uh, the kavats. You know the the ones that people have, not the. Yeah, they're both in the middle right now. Or mine is now. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh. I'm still looking for Mewtwo. He's running around in the middle. There we go. And that makes it. Um, let's see, how do we want to kill him? <laughs> He's already dead. Oh, well, one tonk or huh? Uh, my bad. Whatever, what's done is done. Nice <laughs> run. Alright, so we have uh, two options here. We could try this with Nightmare, or we could just go to Jordis. And I'm perfectly fine with going to Jordis. We could even do a Bleeding Key Jordis run, if you guys wanted. Trickery, not bad. Ooh, Kavat Segment Blueprint. Did anyone else get that? Honestly, it seems like scanning your teammates' Kavats is a more reliable way to get the actual imprints for them than going out and trying to scan wild Kavats. I still have no genetic codes, but that's all right. Still excited I got the, the segment blueprint from one of those masters. So here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking we should try Jordis because I don't think that things would be much different if we did um, the Nightmare Run. And we've done ni the Nightmare Run so many times. I think it makes sense to switch things up. All right, so ending recording here. Um, <laughs> a bleeding key was pathetically easy, but had to do it. We did no vitality. Basically, it was proof that a rank zero frame can take this on. Well, except the difference is that we had access to our abilities, so... I think we should do an unranked frame run uh, after this. Don't forget this. that massive shield. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching.